Hello everyone, it's Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV and I'm back with another top five video. This week, West Ham take on Tottenham Hotspur at the London Stadium. So I'm gonna do my top five best players to play for both West Ham and Spurs. And as a little bonus, I'm gonna do my top five worst players to play for both West Ham and Spurs. So let's get straight into it. Number five, Matty Everton. Um, made 45 appearances for Spurs during his time there before um, moving to West Ham. Uh, he played 195 games for West Ham, scoring 18 goals, uh, won the playoffs, runner-up in the FA Cup final, um, hammer of the year in his first season, and of course, he scored goals, but his most memorable one for me would be the playoff semi-final against Ipswich. Uh, like I said, crowd favourite, and he's my number five. Number four is Teddy Sheringham. Uh, he made 236 appearances in two spells for Spurs, scoring 98 goals uh, before moving to West Ham via Portsmouth in 2004. He made 76 appearances for West Ham, scoring 28 goals. Uh, a bit, dif bit difficult when showing them first sign for West Ham. A uh, bit of the crowd was on his back because obviously the Tottenham connections. But in the end, he became a fan's favourite, uh, helping us get promotion back to the Premiership and of course reaching the FA Cup final. And later on, he went to join the coaching staff under Big Sam. Um, so, yeah, that's my number four. Um, like I said, he's more of a legend at Spurs, but fans' favourite at West Ham. So, moving on to number three. Um, this one might be a bit controversial, but I'm going to go for Scott Parker. Uh, his best playing days were at West Ham. Um, you know, he made 129 appearances for West Ham, scoring 12 goals. Uh, he dragged us through seasons, uh, dragged us through games. Proper fans' favourite, proper, proper player, tacular. You know, it was a shame when he left the club. Um, I think a few West Ham fans are still bitter over that he joined Spurs. Um, after we got relegated, he played a few games in the Championship before joining Spurs, where he made 50 appearances, uh, scoring no goals over a two-season spell. So no, my number three um, is Scott Parker. And as we know, he won the Hammer of the Year three times in a row, so for me, he deserves a bit of credit, you know. Forget the, how he left the club, let's just remember the time he was actually at the club. Moving on, number two, uh, proper football legend here. Uh, he's known more for his time at Spurs. He scored 220 goals in 321 games. I'm talking about an absolute legend, Jimmy Greaves. Um, he actually moved... Um, to West Ham uh, with Martin Peters going in the opposite way. He didn't really, um, I would say he had a pretty good spell at West Ham. You know, he scored 13 goals in 40 games, scored two on his debut. Um, like I said, he did have more, he's more of a legend at Spurs than he is West Ham, but I think he's respected at West Ham. Um, and of course, unfortunately, he missed out in the World Cup final um, when Sir Jeff Hurst took his place back in them days, they never had no substitutes, so he missed out in the World Cup final. But look, moving on to my number one, it was the man that swapped places with Jimmy Greaves. Uh, it's number one, he's a true football legend, Martin Peters. You know, during his time at West Ham, he was a World Cup winner, uh, European Cup winner, um, and also. He made 364 appearances in the Claret and Blue, scoring 100 goals before moving to Spurs, um, where he won two League Cups and a UEFA Cup. You know, proper football legend. You know, I think both sets of fans uh, would agree. Uh, he's a legend at both clubs, a uh, legend for England as well. And um, yeah, I mean, that's my top five. I mean, there's other players that I could have put in now. One that was so close was Bobby Zamora. Um, there's other players great players that have played for both clubs, including Paul Koncheski, Jermaine Defoe, Michael Carrick, Freddie Canute, Les Ferdinand, Neil Rudder, Chris, Chris Hutton, and of course, the cousins, Paul Allen and Clive Allen. Um, one player I do quickly want to mention, he didn't make, he's not made any of the list, but it was uh, Mauricio Tarico, signed for West Ham in 2004 from Tottenham, free transfer, made his debut at the Den, against um, Millwall. Um, his debut lasted about as long as it takes to walk from Stratford Station to the London Stadium. It was 27 minutes. He tore his hamstring. He was out for eight weeks. 
he turned around and said to the club, look, it's not fair, you pay me. Um, while I'm injured, I've only just joined, so he cancelled his contract. So, look, fair play to him for doing that. Not many players would do that. Um, I think Alan Pardew turned around and said he's one of the kindest things he's ever seen a football player do. So, look, that's my top five list uh, for best players. Now, let me quickly go through my top five players, uh, the worst players to play for both clubs. I'm going to start off with Ili Dimitrescu, uh, the Romanian international who never showed his true form for either team was at Spurs, he made 18 appearances, he scored four goals, he moved to West Ham, um, he made 13 appearances and unlucky for him, it was his final appearance, no goals, um, massive flop at West Ham, wasn't great. Uh, Going to move on now to number four, David Bentley, joined Spurs in 2008 from Blackburn for £15 million, which was a lot of money back then, uh, he was dubbed as the new David Beckham. Didn't work out for him. He'll probably rem be remembered more for his time at Spurs, scoring at the Emirates uh, in that 4 all draw. Made 62 appearances, scoring five goals. He joined West Ham on loan after a loan spell at Birmingham uh, in 2011. Uh, got injured basically straight away. Ruled out for six months. Um, so he left the club, went back to Spurs. Made five appearances, no goals. Once again, another flop. Um... But yeah, I mean, without that injury, who knows? Now let's move on to number three, Sergei Rebrov. Uh, like Dimitrescu, the Ukrainian international didn't really hit it off at both clubs. Um, he made 60 appearances for Spurs, 10 goals. Um, but his time at West Ham wasn't great. You know, I thought when we first signed him, sharing him with Rebrov in the championship, going to score loads of goals. Didn't work out like that. 32 appearances, two goals. Uh, once again, I'm going to call him a flop. You know, it didn't really work out for him. Um, but in his younger days, what a player. Now moving on to number two, uh, I'm going to go for Robbie Keane, who signed on loan for West Ham uh, under Avram Grant. Didn't work out. Um, wasn't uh, great. I mean, he scored, I think, I think he got a couple of goals. Um, but yeah, we was relegated that season. I remember him missing a few chances in a few games over that season when he was there. Like I said, it wasn't great, but his Spurs record is second to none. You know, 306 appearances, 122 goals in all competitions in two spells at the club between 2002 and 2011. So he's going to be remembered more as a legend at Spurs, but he's going to be remembered as a flop at West Ham. Now let's move on. Number one. Um, Midu. Um listen, when he first signed for Spurs, he signed on loan before joining permanent. He scored 14 goals in 38 games. Um, looked a decent player, but his time at West Ham was a shambles. Overweight, unfit, you know, massive flop. I think he signed for about, he was on about £1,000 a week. He was that desperate to play football, and he was that desperate for a striker. Um... I remember him missing a penalty in a two-all draw at Goodison Park. Uh, but yeah, wasn't a great goal scorer, you know. Didn't score for West Ham. Uh, played nine games in total and yeah. So that's my top five worst players to play for West Ham and Tottenham. If you can think of anyone else from the top best players and the worst players, let me know. Put your comments below. Um, look, keep subscribing to our channel. We've got loads of content coming up this week. West Ham Week, uh, Dan's new show, Scott's preview, and of course, fan cams and post-match point from the Tottenham game. So look, leave your comments below and let me know your thoughts on everything I spoke about. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV. Come on, you irons.